there are some creatures that many people think look like a combination of a monkey, maybe a raccoon, you know. Mm. And the movie Madagascar helped make them a household name. Lemurs are primates found specifically on the island of Madagascar off the coast of Africa. But over the years, deforestation on the island has seriously threatened the lemur population. As our wild side guy Randy Rouse shows us, one Florida organization is helping to save lemurs from extinction right here in Mayaka City. Move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to... Move it. The movie Madagascar turned a quirky lemur into a movie star. But Monica Hoffine will tell you that's just Hollywood having fun. Reality is that lemurs are seriously threatened by mankind. In an undisclosed location in Mayaka City, Monica takes me through tall trees and brush. It's a gorgeous forest. It's private land here, not open to the public. Perfect place to keep these guys, lemurs, safe and sound. A whole property is 90 acres. We have two lemur enclosures. One is eight acres, the other is 13 acres. The enclosures house several types of lemurs. Some of these primates are from zoos, while others come from once private ownership. The goal here at the Lemur Conservation Foundation is to study, research, and better understand lemurs. Founder Penelope Sanders created the facility after a trip to that African island. I went to Madagascar um, and saw what a, a terrible situation the lemurs were in over there and, and um, decided to try to do something about it. Can I, can I have the tray? Well, you know what? Here. What she did do over 11 years ago was create this one-of-a-kind lemur reserve. One of the goals here at the facility is breeding lemurs. Now these little guys over here, they're two months old. And believe it or not, one of the goals here is to create a big enough population that could be reintroduced to Madagascar if needed. In other words, make sure the lemur population does not disappear. Um, our population is actually fairly small right now. We're trying to build up naturally through breeding, which takes more time than if we just brought in large numbers of lemurs. No one is sure how many different types of lemurs can be rescued and repopulated back into the wild. These lemurs on top the habitat will eventually be introduced to the lemurs inside the habitat. The way they treat each other will be closely studied. In Mayaka City, I'm Wild Side Guy Randy Roush for Tampa Bay's 10 News. Wow. The Lemur Conservation Foundation is currently not open to the public. So that piece right there is yeah. the only Good opportunity you have. You see that last one staring right into the camera? They got big eyes, don't they? Yeah, they stare look, you down. They're looking at you. Yep, and <laughs> they're looking.